DIY Christmas. We listen to what you put out there on Twitter and Facebook. We know you love your projects, and you know our experts are up to the task. Tiffany Pratt here. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, dedicated to DIY and you guys are the pros. I mean, you're doing it all the time in real life, on TV, everywhere, up and down. <laughs> so I want to know what you have under these boxes, my dear. Should I go first? Yeah. I think yes. <laughs> What's happening? Well, I like myself a good repurpose. Yes. So I'm doing stockings. Ooh. What do you got? What are okay, we making? So my DIY is a surprise for later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Denise, what are we making? All right, I'm showing DIY hostess gift. parties you have to go to don't, make it yes don't, don't go, go empty-handed yes. make something special uh, and definitely don't go empty-handed uh, no. right no 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 <laughs> Carson what I are you making today I'm bringing the outdoors in <laughs> personalities. I cannot wait to see what is in there. It's a surprise. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, I'm going to start with Carson and okay. we'll be back for all of your fantastic projects very soon. Uh, I'm going to get you guys one. to go that way okay. and I will go this way and let's start making uh, this incredible project right now. I imagine this is actually really easy but the impact is incredible. Well what you're going to be surprised by is yeah. everything that I'm talking about today is about saving money. So this year I volunteered to host my family Christmas. Oh, good for so you. So 22 people are coming. Wow. Which, so I start panicking about the money that's going to cost me. So yes. I want to start saving money about tabletops. And this year is my holiday. It's all about plaids and outdoors in and metallics. And these are the things that I love. Yeah. So these Do terrariums. Do you like plaid? I had no idea. I love my plaid. Oh. You know. Okay. <laughs> I live in my plaid. So these little <laughs> terrariums are actually things that I had in the spring. Yes. So they're from Canadian Tire, part of the canvas collection. But what I did was I did the frosting. So this oh. frosting that's down the side is actually a recipe that you can emulate and it takes about 10 minutes. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm going to show everybody how to do that right now. So what Good. you do is you're going to take Epsom salts, mm -hmm. kind of like that. So about four tablespoons, pour it in and you're going to fill it up with a cup of beer. I was going to say alcohol. Yeah, you know, you're okay. going to fill it up with beer. You're going to What a waste of beer. Just well, joking. That's why I have the big jug, because it's all about the craft beer. Uh, so you're going to mix it up. You're going to let it sit for 30 minutes, OK? Then what you're going to do, and I'm going to show it on this unit you know, right in front of here, Tracy, nice. is you're just going to spread it on, OK? OK. As it dries, these crystals form. Okay, That's so it. you put it in a certain way so that it's not everywhere. You made it sort of yeah. ombre up the side. I'd love to say that I did that. I really slopped it on and okay. see what happened. But the best part is now, come spring, I can remove it with water. Oh, you it just can. washes off. Yes, yeah, so it's not a permanent piece on the unit itself, so I don't have to worry about it. That's if excellent. you wanted something a little more permanent, kind of like this one here, you can actually use a spray. Like that guy, oh, frosted okay. glass. And you can just spray the inside. Again, that took me about five minutes to do. I just sprayed the inside, yes. easy breezy done. These little guys here are garden lanterns. Yeah. So my garden lanterns, I got them kind of all over the space because I love my gardening, right? Yeah. So I'm bringing those inside. And this is kind of what they look like. A little bit rusty, okay. a little bit beat up. Yeah. What you want to do if you want to uh, treat your own units is you want to spray them with a rust inhibitor first before right. you paint them, okay? So this is a product by Rust-Oleum. It's called the Must for Rust by Cred Cutter. Mm -hmm. And you're literally just going to spray it on and what this does is it stops all the rust from forming under your garden pieces okay, okay? then you're going to paint them off yeah and then put them on your display table That's with the beautiful. nice yeah a little fun little color then come spring yes you paint the red black and you're done you go back in the garden oh, and nobody's see. any the wiser right so you've repurposed it you've reused yeah. it and it costs you really nothing to do now did you use um, did you use a spray paint for that or did you paint it like I a glossy did a spray, can of spray paint oh which is so, so easy that, again that took me about five minutes oh I done. love that yeah 
But the key is you have to stop the rust underneath first because the rust is what's yeah. going to peel the paint. And as you're adding layers, you don't want that peeling off, right? right. So that's the key is add the rust inhibitor first to all your outdoor products yeah. before you paint them out. Very nice. Okay. And then just a little tea light, battery operated tea light in there and some fake snow. Safety and first, easy yes. breezy. All right, let's talk about my plaid shirts, okay? Yeah, let's talk about them. All right. Because everybody's worried about my you plaid shirts. Because you have a bit shirts. of a problem. No, just uh, uh, You don't. I have a few plaid shirts in my life, and some of them I might have grown out of. That so, one's a nice This one. was a really nice one that I yeah. cut the back out, but I wanted to repurpose it in a way that, you know, it's going to look great on the tabletop. Okay. So, that's the back of my shirt right there. Oh, this is it. Yeah. This is it. It's so simple. Oh, so, basically, all you're doing is you're taking your plaid shirt. Yeah. My... This is treasured hurt. plaid shirt. Yeah. It hurts a little bit, but you know, Sorry. after the first cut, it's easy. It's like sending your kids <laughs> to university. So uh, <laughs> you're gonna put your cone down on top of it. You're gonna yeah. roll your plaid shirt out over the top like this after you've made the first cut. Okay. Line it up like that. Make your next cut straight up. Yeah. Spray glue it on. Tie some nice twine, and you're done. And, and literally, done. you haven't done that quickly. And it doesn't have to be complicated, but it looks great. It does look great. And all you did was put a little bit of embellishment on it. These cones, you get what? Dollar store, craft yeah. store? Yeah, and they're yeah. really inexpensive. So literally, this project, because the shirt was off my back, no joke. Yes. Uh, the cone was about $1.99. Yes. I had spray glue. This is a shoelace and a little oh. piece of a wreath that fell off last year. So <laughs> this whole thing costs about Zero cents. three dollars exactly but I don't want you to just use the shirt for that piece okay we can take this another little a little further so I took the cuff and I cut the cut uh, cuff oh. off my shirt and I just wrapped around a mason jar that's cute candle lighting on a holiday table is so important because it adds the right you know the right yes. ambiance to the space yeah so I did that with the cuff of the shirt chopped it up put it on I did this with the green one with this little uh more of the sizal twine for oh, that holly it. hobby look exactly yeah. so but these are so easy and they're just mason jars and then when you're done for the season you slide them off and you still have your and mason jar and you can jar. still use them this is going to be beautiful centerpieces beautiful runners i might add thank you really nice with the plaid shirts and it's going to cost you next to nothing yeah so now you can splurge on the dinner and the wine just save that extra beer you know just they're all coming over they want to party <laughs>